so now we come to the implemented implementation strategy of the 11th five year plan as far as the gender equality and women empowerment and development is concerned as usual there are lots of nice words and intentions and targets uh, but implementation as we will see later is rare so if you look at this table uh, it looks at gives us the policy intervention it gives us the outcome or output it gives us indicators major institutions responsible and targets the first target was education for all girls the outcome was reduce gender gap the indicators was number of girls and boys enrolled in primary and secondary schools the major institution responsible was the ministry of education at the federal level and the provincial education departments and the target was at the primary level one meaning thereby all the, the gender parity achieved and at the secondary level almost gender parity meaning thereby for every 100 boys there were 95 girls in the secondary school the second was target or policy intervention was behavioral change and awareness about discrimination against women the major institutions was uh, the ministry of law justice and human rights and provincial welfare and women de departments the indicators were the number of inc incidents of violence abuse and discrimination against women and the target was that more than 70% of the population will be sensitized on gender based issues the next was education and research and gender studies the major institutions responsible for this change was the ministry of education and training at the federal level the higher education commission and the provincial education department the target was 80 gender and women studies departments and centers to be established both in private and public universities with the help of hec the next target was centers and institutions for survivors of violence and women in distress with 24 hours helpline so major institutions dealing or responsible for achieving this target was ministry of law justice and human rights provincial social welfare departments and provincial women departments it was agreed that by the end of this 11th five year plan 225 centers will be established at the district and at the tehsil level with ngos and csos which will help the survivors of violence and women in distress the next one the next target was to bring it or information management systems to the gender areas the main uh, problem or issue to be dealt with was to come up with gender disaggregated data so we have data uh, available with the government but we don't know how many men or women have benefit so the idea is to establish a data centers or data uh, or mis management information systems which give us separate data so we know how many men and how many women are benefiting from different development schemes and programs and other uh, uh, areas or objectives of the government so the major implementing agency in this area was ministry of labor justice and human rights provincial social welfare departments and women uh, women developments uh, women development departments and the idea was that at the federal level and all the four provinces uh, mis or management information systems were will be established and fully functional by 2018 the next objective was gender impact assessment so okay we have gender data but how it will be used so it will be used to come up with gender sensitized public policies plans and projects and planning commission and pnd department uh, departments in provinces will help that 
uh, in case of skill development programs more than 2500 lady industrial homes and other centers were established at the union council level and another area was the establishment of 225 daycare centers in tehsils and towns all over pakistan the major area which looked at the major agency to implement this was the capital uh, and uh, development department and provincial welfare department and lastly removal of discriminatory laws and the major implementing agency in this case was the labor justice and human rights agency uh, national commission of human uh, social uh, rights and provincial law and provincial women departments and it had to look at all the existing laws and review whether they are discriminatory to women or not and then propose laws which are better or less discriminatory against women so if you look at 20 we are in 2019 uh, the program the plan has ended not much work is done most of the targets were not achieved so that is the situation now as far as gender equality is concerned